Kyler Murray is a former number one overall pick in the NFL draft and pro bowler. But with the Cardinals missing the playoffs last year and not looking great for the future, today I attempt to save Kyler Murray's career. Kyler will have five years to accomplish as many of the following goals as he can. For every challenge I complete on this challenge wheel, I can then spin the wheel of upgrades to upgrade Kyler Murray. And to start off year one, Kyler Murray is a 79 overall superstar. And also because it is year one, we are giving Kyler Murray or the Cardinals a free upgrade because they need it and they can add any player they want to the Arizona Cardinals. And the player I decided to add to the Arizona Cardinals on the defensive side of the ball, 99 overall, Miles Garrett. And this is the offense going into year one. I could have addressed the offensive line or running back with our addition, but this team desperately needed a superstar pass rusher. And this is the defense. It looks much better with Miles Garrett here. You have Buda Baker and JJ Watt, maybe his last year here in Madden. We'll see if he retires. And the Cardinals get a tough draw here in week number one of year one. They have to face the Chiefs. Up first, Mahomes is coming into Arizona, but a nice complete pass to Hollywood Brown to start the year. There was also a few options I was going to go with for our audition for this team. I was thinking maybe superstar running back like Henry, Nick Chubb. I could have went with a left tackle in Trent Williams, for example. But I do think we need a defense on this team because it's about team success and Kyler Murray's success. Making the playoffs, winning Super Bowls, and Hollywood Brown's going off. And now on a third and five at the 16-yard line inside the red zone. Can we capitalize or are we going to be held to three here? Wide open was the receiver. Not sure who he was looking for there. It was Trey McBride. And Kyler, you got to hit that. And we do have a really good game right now. We actually tie this game up, make it 31-24. But it looks like the Chiefs might be too good. We have 43 seconds left at our own 11-yard line. If Kyler gets this done, we're going to be looking good. He doesn't. We do lose game one of the year, but a pretty good sign for Kyler. We're actually looking better than I thought. I did not think playoffs we had a chance at this year, but we're actually four and three, second in the West behind the Niners, who are going to be tough for years to come. Kyler's looking good. We did not even upgrade anything for his abilities, and he's having a pretty good season. 1,900 yards, 11 touchdowns, only one interception. That's great. The receivers for this team also playing pretty good. Robbie Anderson, who I don't think is on the team next year, has 539 yards. Hollywood Brown, 475. Zachers 368. And D-Hop, 362. So, sadly, we did fall off second half of the season, going 7-10. and 10. We did miss the playoffs, but the future's bright in Arizona, hopefully. Tyler, though, did have a really solid season. Threw for 4,438 yards, 31 touchdowns, and 9 picks. Let's hopefully build on that next year. He also produced three 1,000-yard receivers in Hollywood Brown, Robbie Anderson, Zach Ertz. Surprised that Hopkins wasn't up there at 1,000. And now, for the first time, with year one done, we spin the challenge wheel. What game were we playing? We are going to NBA 2K. We need the first points in an online game to get an upgrade. KD, we're just going all the way, KD. Actually, Aiton, Aiton's one-on-one -on -one with Curry, and I threw a bad pass. That's a wide-open bucket, if I get that. Back door, Aiton, lay it in! There it is! We get the upgrade for the Cardinals. So we get to spin the upgrade wheel now, now that we completed that challenge, and we can add plus 10 to Kyler Murray's speed stats. So with the additions to Kyler Murray, we are going to max out his speed at 99, his excel at 99, and his agility at 99 overall. And that's good enough to make Kyler an 83 this year. So year two feels a a lot like year number one, we're five and four this year, but instead of the 49ers being six and one, they're two and seven, so we lead the division right now halfway through. Kyler's not having a great season, though. We're going to have to upgrade that accuracy awareness stats sooner rather than later because he has 2,390 yards, 11 touchdowns, but 11 picks. He's also added 279 rushing yards and three touchdowns. And Kyler Murray and the Cardinals make the playoffs. Our division was terrible, but we take that. Kyler threw for 4,548 yards, 22 touchdowns, 21 picks, Definitely did not fix that touchdown interception ratio. Maybe he didn't have a lot of passing touchdowns, though, because we had about 30 touchdowns on the ground. Kyler added 438 and seven touchdowns on the ground. And again, we had three 1,000-yard receivers, this time in Rondell Moore, D-Hop, Evan Ingram, and Hollywood Brown with 833. And with Kyler Murray throwing for over 4,500 passing yards, he's completed his first goal. We are the number four seed, so sadly, we have to go up against a 13-4 and four Eagles team in the wildcard round. Eagles get on the board first with a field goal their opening drive and a Kyler QB draw called to start this game on offense for six. I expect this offense to mix in a lot of that passing and running game here. And now we're going to hit James Conner up the middle, and he's going to pick up about 9 or 10. And this is only year two. To make the playoffs, Kyler at 4,500 yards. We're hopefully on our way to 90 overall. He's made some good strides here in year number two. Hopefully we can build on that and maybe turn that into a Super Bowl championship. We can make a run here any given Sunday in the playoffs. Second and eight for Kyler. That is a terrible throw. Now Kyler's going to go empty here on a third and eight from the 43-yard line. Do we have anybody open? He's got a ton of time in the pocket. 
Offensive line's playing great. He tries to go deep to Hollywood Brown and it's broken up. And right now in the fourth quarter, we have an excellent game on our hands. We're down seven points, but we are in the red zone. Second 11 for the 13. And he has a wide open DeAndre Hopkins. And we have a tie ball game in the wild card round. And let's see what happens now. Eagles stall. They get the ball back. They take the lead by three. And they're able to run the clock out. Kyler doesn't even really touch the ball again. And we're actually going home in the wild card round. But the Eagles were a better team. So I hope for a lot of great things in year three. And now for year number three, we need to know which game we are playing once again to hopefully earn that upgrade for the Cardinals or Kyler Murray. And we need to hop on NHL and score a goal with the Arizona Coyotes. Get it to Keller. Back to Hayton. Oh, a wide open shot. I thought it was a save. And we score. And we get the upgrade for Kyler or the Cardinals. And that is a huge upgrade. We want to get Kyler up to that 90 overall or add some players to the Cardinals. And that's exactly what we're going to do by adding two defensive players to the Arizona Cardinals. And the first defensive player I added was 99 overall middle linebacker Fred Warner. And obviously, we are adding the best defensive player of our generation, Aaron Donald, 99 overall to the team. This is what the offense is looking like. Definitely not great. It's a solid offense. Good tight ends, good wide receivers. Our offensive line could still use some work, though. The defense, though, is really starting to be elite right now with Miles Garrett, Aaron Donald, Fred Warner, and Buda Baker. We are poised for a deep playoff run. We finished the season 14 and 3, best record in the NFC. And Kyler had a super efficient season, could be winning MVP. We'll see in a second. Almost 4,500 passing yards, 41 touchdowns, nine picks. He also added 505 rushing yards and five touchdowns for almost 5,000 total yards of offense and almost 50 touchdowns. And with the Cardinals making the playoffs this year and Kyler combining for over 45 touchdowns, he has crossed off two more goals. But that was only good enough for third and MVP with Jalen Hurts in first and Mahomes coming in second. Miles Garrett finished the season with 26 sacks and Donald had 22. In the divisional round, we faced the Lions. I'm going to simulate this and hope we're in the NFC Championship. And we do beat the Lions and we have the Vikings with a chance to go to the Super Bowl. We are two games away from the Super Bowl. Kyler is having in a great few years. Year number two was not great. Team success, though, in year two. And now in year three, everything is coming together. We are in the NFC Championship game. And as soon as I jump out of slow sim, Kyler throws an interception. So that's not great. And as of right now, it is not looking great for us in the NFC Championship game. We are down 12 points with six and a half minutes to go. Aaron Donald with a huge sack, though. Another huge sack. That one by Collins. We are going to get the ball back. Kyler, you need a huge drive right now. And it has to be quick. If we get close to the red zone, we are jumping in. We need two touchdowns. Phil goals will do no good. We have 245 left on the clock. Rondale Moore. 14 yard reception. Evan Ingram. What can we keep doing here? Two minute warning has passed. Let's jump in. So we have a minute left. We have three timeouts. We have to score super quick and stop the Vikings ASAP. Can you get in the end zone right there or get out of bounds? We do get out of bounds, which is absolutely huge right there. So 54 seconds on the clock. Zacchaeus makes the catch. He's on the team now. With 54 seconds left, we got to score like on this play to save the three timeouts. And that's huge. Zach Ertz for the touchdown. We don't have to go onside. We just need to stop them on defense. Onside kick recovered by Minnesota. First and 10, second and five. No first down, please. Seven yard rush. And we are going home in the NFC Championship game. We were one game away from the Super Bowl. I thought that was going to be the year. I'm not going to lie. Everything was coming together. Defense was looking great. Now we need to jump on a WWE 2K and get an elimination in a Royal Rumble match. And we're going to go ahead and use John Cena in this match. So we're entering number one and we got to eliminate our opponent here. There's going to be people coming in every few seconds or so, but we just need one elimination before we go out. And if we can do that, we get an upgrade to the Arizona Cardinals or Kyler Murray. Can we get it real quick? Can John Cena? John Cena is overpowered and <laughs> Cena with an elimination to start it. And that's all we needed. Perfect time to mention. I have a WWE channel wrestling goal on the channel. If you haven't seen it, make sure to go check it out while we spin the wheel of upgrades. And now we get to give Kyler 299 stats, which is going to be huge. Okay. So awareness is a huge stat for quarter backs in this game it was a 76 now it's a 99 now i want kyler stats to jump off at the page when we look at them this year so i want to give him max deep throw accuracy to throw any pass down the field that he wants and with those two upgrades kyler murray is a 94 overall and with kyler being higher than a 90 overall we can cross off our next goal this is the offense for kyler his skill position players are getting worse by the year and so is the offensive line so that could be a problem the defense though is still absolutely amazing well after an amazing season in year three Year four, we completely missed the playoffs by going eight and nine. Kyler was still efficient though. 4,237 yards, 29 touchdowns, six picks. He also added 500 on the ground and five touchdowns. And that means we have one more challenge for year five. It's a make or break year for the Super Bowl. 
And we need to jump on a Call of Duty and get an elimination. Well, I have not played a lot of COD recently, so it should be interesting to see how this goes. And this is a big upgrade after missing the playoffs last year. We got to get something done. I got to get in the limb right here. Oh, I see somebody. Oh, oh, I missed. Are you kidding me? I had that too. So this is the final year's offense. The offense actually looks like it got better. Better offensive line here for Kyler Murray, and he's a 92 overall. Defense is still really good, but it looks like we lost Aaron Donald in the offseason. Not sure if he retired or what happened, but we don't have Aaron Donald anymore. Good news, though. We do make the playoffs in year five, going 11 and six and get a wild card spot. Kyler was decent this year. Not great, not bad. 4,451 yards, 34 touchdowns, 12 picks. Add another 640 on the ground and six touchdowns. I feel like these were stats almost every year. And those stats were good enough for eighth in MVP. And in the wild card round, we face the Bucks. Let's hopefully simulate and get into the next round. And we do win that game, and now it's hopefully revenge time on the Vikings. Can we pull off the upset? They pulled off the upset on us a couple years ago in the NFC Championship game. Can we reverse it now and head back to the championship game? Right now, we're up 10-7 at half. Never mind, 14-10. We got a very close game once again. It was close the first time around. We're in the fourth quarter, down four. We make it a one-point game. We have the ball right here. Kyler with a chance to go into the red zone and take the lead in this NFC Divisional game. To hopefully send us to the championship game. Kyler about to approach the two-minute warning and a reception made an out of bounds. If we can put a touchdown on the board, I'm feeling very confident we will hold on and win this because our defense is the better part of our team. And Kyler on the read option breaks a tackle. I thought he was going down. I thought he had a touchdown at first. Then he gets tackled, but he holds on to the football down to the nine. Luckily, Madden didn't screw us over because we are back in at the nine-yard line. First and goal and a running back, A.J. Dillon, down to about the two-yard line. We can take time off the clock here. A turnover would be terrible, but we might have a touchdown a touchdown for the Arizona Cardinals. It's Evan Ingram. Let me get this too. This would be a huge two and wide open over the middle. It's Deha. And now let's see if Minnesota comes back and ties it. No, we're going to the championship game. And in the NFC championship game, it is Cardinals Giants. And let's simulate this entire game. We're in New York. Giants have home field. No idea who's on this Giants team, but we have the lead 7-3. Who cares if we win? That's all that matters. Oh, I thought we were going in. Somehow didn't score. 17-7 Giants. Don't let them pull away. 2010 Giants in the third quarter. We make it a seven-point game. We're getting the ball back. No, we're not. We have a chance to tie it or make it a one-score game. I will jump in, but the Giants are going to end our dreams once again in the NFC Championship game in year five. That's going to do it for the video, everyone. If you enjoyed, do me a favor. Hit the like button. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. In the comments down below, make sure to check out my other channels and also make sure to follow me over on my social media. But I'll talk to you all in the next video. Peace.